Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, so, if you're wondering why my name is Falestini now, uh, it's because I just went through a, a, a I guess, a brand change. Um, not like I was making any money. Not like I will be making any money in the future. I just figured, you know, ha having everything be the same is probably easier. I finally got the name Falestini on Twitch. For some reason, I couldn't get it from beforehand when I first made a Twitch in 2013, even though no one had the account from before. Uh, so I don't know what the deal was, was there, but I finally could change it the other day, so I went ahead and did it, you know, just because that's my original Xbox name. And then I figured, you know what, I probably should change my YouTube name as well uh, to that, because even though Hamada, Hamada, uh, Hamada, whatever you want to say, however you want to say it, how, even though that's my nickname, uh, I figured since the majority of my YouTube videos are all gaming related, might as well just have it be the same as my gamer tag, my original gamer tag. So I went ahead and did that, went ahead and changed my PlayStation name to that as well. And I figured, like I said, it'd probably just be easier to have everything be the same. Uh, whether it's just for searching purposes, branding purposes, if for some reason I ever uh, do make money off of, the, off of streaming or making YouTube videos. Which, by the way, like I said, I don't. Just This is all for fun, this is all as a hobby, okay? So, so don't come at me saying, you know, I'm out here trying to make the most. Because, because I'm really not, I'm really just doing this for fun. Anyway, so that's why you're seeing this in your sub box. That's why you're probably wondering who the heck is Palestini. Oh, that's me. Uh, don't worry, nothing's changing except for the name, uh, which is back to the original name. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I did with that. And then as far as uh, other uh, content from my YouTube channel, other videos, the direction I'm taking. I know I made a 2019 uh, direction video, uh, but I think I'm gonna change that around. You know, I thought I was going to get more into Halo Master Chief Collection, which there's nothing wrong with it. I just never got back into it. And I thought I would get back into making Black Ops 4 videos. But, like I said, I just didn't. I went back to making Fortnite because I still have a lot of fun. No, no, no. I want to take that back. I still had fun when I made that on Fortnite when I made that video. Um, and I had a little bit of fun up until the end of Season 8. Uh, season 9 is when it kind of went downhill for me, uh, and season the reason for it is because of the combat shotgun in Season 9. I think it's the most skillless weapon they've ever added into Fortnite. You don't have to aim, you don't have to, you don't have to time your shots, it's all spam from any range, which is actually ridiculous. So that, that was the start of my loss of love for Fortnite, if you want to say that. And then in Season 10, I thought that was going to be the revival season, the season where they, they come out with crazy new things that will make everyone want to play, and it did the opposite. Both casual and competitive players hated it for the most part, and it was because of the mechs, the brutes. I know by now they nerfed it, uh, just like they nerfed the planes in Season 7, which were ridiculous too, I want to add. Um, but it's still not enough. Uh, they have it in both comp uh, competitive arena, and they have it in the regular playlist, which I think is ridiculous. Honestly, Fortnite should just take a look at Counter-Strike, League of Legends, Overwatch, Dota. Like, all of those games have separate playlists. All of those games have strong player bases. Like, Fortnite can do it. Fortnite can can last a long time and satisfy both types of players. Just separate the loot pool, separate, separate the settings, right? I don't know why they just don't do it. I feel like it's easy. But at this point, you know, maybe Fortnite's just a quick cash grab. They're trying to make as much money as they can before it slows down. And I do want to say Fortnite has slowed down, whether it's in viewership or uh, player base. Uh, it definitely has. Most of my friends actually quit starting in Season 6, then some more quit in 7, then some more quit in 8, and a lot quit in 9. And then now Season 10, I only have less than a handful of friends that still play. And honestly, I haven't even found the will to play. I've only played maybe 20, I think it's 24 matches uh, to be exact. Uh, this season, which is actually crazy, because season seven I played almost 800. Seasons one, two, three, four, and five I played 500 plus matches each in those seasons. Some even more than the other. I think season three I played a thousand plus, and season four same thing. So like I said, I I played the heck out of this game, and I had a lot of fun while I did. Um, there, that's not a knock on Fortnite at all, but it is a knock on season 10. It is a knock on season nine, and I think. Season 11 is the defining season for me. If if it's not good, uh, which I'm definitely gonna try it out, I have to, you know. Uh, I've played Fortnite for so long, ago. and you might say that's a, that's uh, the sunken cost fallacy at its finest, right there. Which maybe it is, uh, but I will try season 11. I think I've given up on season 10 as a whole at this point. Uh, I've only had 24 matches played, like I said, 
And I only play Zone Wars, really, uh, just to keep my mechanics uh, sharp, right? But we'll see. Season 11, defining, mo defining season for me. If it's not good, that's the end of Fortnite for me, I think. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever come back to it. Um, so we'll see. Uh, as far as other games go, uh, Call of Duty does come out with the beta in a month. Uh, you guys already saw a little bit of gameplay from me on the alpha video. Uh, so the beta is in a month and then the release is in two months. You'll definitely see a lot of gameplay on that because uh, I love Call of Duty too. Uh, but I think Halo is, is my favorite um, series by far. But Call of Duty uh, probably be second. You know, so you'll definitely see some Modern Warfare uploads or, or uh, montages or whatever. Uh, you'll see some more Battlefield gameplay. I, I like playing that game right now. Uh, and they're coming out new free content soon. Hopefully. <laughs> if you know the controversy on Battlefield. Hopefully, we're saying. Uh, and then the next year, Halo comes out. And this channel might turn into a Halo channel. We'll see. Uh, like I said, it's my favorite franchise slash series of all time. Uh, and I hope that game is really good. So we'll see. But for now, um, you're definitely going to see a lack of Fortnite uploads, whether it's highlights or gameplays. I just can't be bothered to log on and play a solo anymore. Like, I love solos in any Battle Royale, because I feel like that's the true Battle Royale experience. You know, when it comes to playing a duo or squad game, like with your friends or with randoms, it's just not that fun. I mean, it can be, but for the most part, it's like, it's basically just like getting on and digging around with your friends, you know? You're just you're there to have a good time, whereas, like, solos, it's just you versus 99. You're looting, your, your, your gameplay is like telling a story almost, you're trying to get to the end. So I, I want to say it's more intense or more intensive. Um, so that's why I like solos. Um, or even solo squads. Like, if you guys remember, I played a lot of solo squads in seasons 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, season 6 is kind of where I stopped uh, playing solo squads. Came back in Season 7 slash 8 for Siphon. Um, and I actually had a 30 kill solo squad game in Season 9. I think it was, yeah, it was it was at the end of Season 9. Uh, so, I definitely love solos and solo squads. Uh, but I don't know about gameplay anymore. It, like, Fortnite just lost its touch for me. And it's sad, like I said. You know, I've been playing Fortnite since September of 2017. So, the beginning of the game's release. At least for season one, I think. So I was an original player. Um, it didn't blow up till season three, as we all know. Uh, so I, w I was there for it all for Fortnite, and I, I definitely loved the game. But it's kind of gone downhill for me. Kind of gone do gone downhill for a lot of people, competitive, casual players. And I, I, season eleven, they have to do something about it because season ten, uh, yeah, they they're bringing back all these original, well loved skins and points of interest, but that's not enough. Like, there has to be some serious changes for the settings, the gameplay, the mechanics. Uh, just bring the game back to where its core is, you know? And hopefully my friends all come back to playing it too, because like I said, I have less than a handful that I play anymore. So, so we'll see. Uh, so yeah, thanks for sticking around, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to what I had to say. Uh, like I said, this is a brand change, uh, name change, everything's the same now. Falestinian across all platforms, on Twitch, on, on my gamertag online. Uh, YouTube channel, so it's all the same. And then that's the quick rundown of the games I'm going to be playing. So Fortnite, eh, kind of gone downhill, but you will see some more Apex, some more Battlefield, some more Call of Duty, some more Halo. Um, but Fortnite, I'm sorry, if, if you did come for Fortnite, if you did sub for Fortnite, there will still be some highlight videos. I don't want to take away from that because I actually have fun making those videos. Um, but as far as gameplays go, I don't know anymore. So we'll see. Anyway, like I said, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you if you want to like the video, go ahead. Um, I'll catch you guys another time. Thank you.